Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 4.41 from Sadiku book. So find the Tevenin and Norton equivalence at terminals AB of this circuit. So when looking for Norton and Tevenin equivalent, we need to find out the Tevenin voltage or VTH and then the Norton current or IN and the Tevenin resistance and the value of Tevenin resistance it's actually the same as the value of Norton resistance. Okay, so now let's start by finding the ECs first, which is the Norton or Tevenin resistor. So finding the RTH, how? We need to turn off all the sources, all the independent sources. So we replace this current source by open circuit and we replace this voltage source by short circuit. So let's redraw the circuit here. So I will have this one replaced by open circuit. So I will have just this 6 ohm resistor. And this one will be replaced by short circuit. So we directly have that 14 ohm resistor. And then this one will be replaced by open circuit. So we only have that 5 ohm resistance and I think that's all because we only have three sources and three resistance and the Tevenin is look from a B here a and B and now we need to find out the equivalent resistance when we look from a B here so when we look from a B here we will have this 5 ohm that 5 ohm so the RTH will be 5 ohm parallel with this 14 and 6 so I will have 14 and 6 in series so that will be 5 parallel with 20 or we can use 5 multiplied by 20 divided by 5 plus 20 Okay, that will be 100 divided by 25 and that will be 4 ohm. So we have the value of the Tevenin resistance and also the Norton resistance that will be 4 ohm. Okay, maybe let's save this first. Because now we need to find out complicated variables which is the Tevenin voltage which is the open circuit value of A and B so this one T, T, H, right maybe let's start by setting this as our ground okay and because this one is not A just follow that and then this one is already not B, so maybe this one is not C, right? Okay, what can we do from here? So, if we name it like this, this one will be same as VA, right? Because VB is zero, because we set our ground here. So, let's start by using KCL at not a first not a and i want to assume the direction it's going down it's going down it's and this one will go here okay now what can we get here So this current here is going out. This current here is going in. So KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one. So I will need the node value here, which is Vc plus 14, right? So I have Vc plus 14 here. 
So I will have VC plus 14 minus VA minus VA divided by 14. Divided by 14. And then the, the other currents is going out. So I will have this current here, which is 3 ampere. And this current here, which is VA over 5. Okay, what can we do here? Maybe let's multiply both sides by by what? 70. I think 70 is good, right? 70 is good. So this one will cancel into 5. So I'll have 5 PC plus 14 plus 5. That will be 70. And then minus 5 PA. And that will equal to 210. And this one will be plus 14 VA. So let's move the VA to the left hand side. So minus 5 minus 14 will be minus 19 VA. And this one will be plus 5 VC. And this 70 will move to the right hand side. So I will have 140. That will be the equation number one. Okay, so now let's do another KCL, but this time in the North Sea. So KCL at North Sea. Again, the current that goes in is equal to the current that goes out. So I want to assume this current here is going in and this one is going. So here the only current that goes in is just this one ampere. So I will have one here. And this current here is going out and that current there is Vc of 6. And this current here will be the same as this one which is Vc plus 14. Vc plus 14 minus Va divided by 14. Yeah, I think this things got complicated really quick. So what can we do here? I think we can multiply this by 84. Yeah, to cancel that one right because 6 multiplied by 14 is 84 let's me check oh no 6 multiplied by 14 yeah that's 84 okay so on the left hand side i will have 84 and this one will be 14 pc and this will in cancel into 6, so I will have 6 VC plus 84 and then minus 6 VA. So I will have minus 6 VA and then what else? Yeah, plus 20 VC. And 84 minus 84 will equal to 0. Now let's put this into matrix here. So I will have my minus 19, 5, and then minus 6, and then 20. And that will be VA and B, C, right? And the result vector will be 140. And then this one will be 0. Okay, let's do calculator for solving the equation. Set up the calculator to equation mode. 
and we need to solve two variables so number one and then minus 19 5 140 and then minus 6 20 and 0 so VA is minus 8 so you have VA is minus 8 and then the PC is minus 2 over 4 C is minus 2.4 yeah 2.4 and the unit will be 4 volt and remember that VTH is equal to VA so the Tevenin voltage will equal to VA which is minus 8 volt so this is the Tevenin voltage and knowing Tevenin voltage and Tevenin resistance, we can calculate the Norton current, which is the VTH divided by RTH. So I'll have minus 8 divided by 4. So I'll have minus 2 ampere. And the equivalent circuit. So we can draw the equivalent circuit. So the Tevenin equivalent. So here we have the voltage is minus 8. So we can flip the sign. So we have minus and plus here. And this one will be 8 volt. And this one here, the resistance will be 4 ohm. And this is not A and this is not B. And for the Norton equivalent, it's actually the parallel version. So we will have a current source, but the sign will be negative. So the arrow will go in down and the current will be 2 ampere and I will have this resistance here with the same value so that will be so this is the one that the problem asks Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation and see you in the next video. Bye bye.